Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is gonna be chosen ones. They thought you were stupid and confused. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, chosen ones, they thought you were stupid and confused. Okay? Now, why would they think some crazy stuff like that, y'all? All right? Why would they think that? Okay? It is because you have been keeping them outside of your business. It is because you have been keeping them away from what you know. It is because you seem weaker than what you are. And that's okay, y'all. That's okay. You never let your opponent know your next move. Yes, sir. You never let them know exactly how you feel. Yes, sir. And you never let them know how they can come at you. All right? You want them to be on the down low. And I don't mean that type of down low. I'm talking about uh, underestimating you. That's what I mean, y'all. You want them to underestimate you. Why? Because that gives you all the room to do what you need to do. Okay? It gives you all the room to do what you need to do. And so with that being said, y'all, we're going to speak about it in this video. But before we do so, y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. And not only that, family, y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video I post. Let's go ahead and get into it, Chosen Ones. Number one, the first sign or the first reason they thought that you were stupid and confused is going to be this, Chosen Ones. Ones, they didn't know you had a plan okay i'm gonna just go ahead and tell y'all straight up and down they didn't know that you had a plan okay what do i always say y'all all right if you fail the plan okay then you plan to fail right and so with that being said you did the complete opposite of that which means you set out a structure you set out some type of infrastructure okay you have set out you know an organized uh, organized plan okay uh if you st if, if you started the organization hey great for you because that means that you are thinking at a high level right but you were organized okay and you are just on point right and so with that being said y'all you know exactly where you are going You know exactly what you're trying to do Alright And so with that being said That is equivalent y'all To a basketball team Right and so let's just say, you know, one basketball team thought they were just about to go out there and just wing it. We bigger than them. We're faster than them. Okay. We are greater than them. Right. And so that mentality means that they have undermined you, underestimated you. All right. They didn't think that you were stepping the way that you stepping. Somebody drop in the comments and say, oh, I'm stepping. All right. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, oh, I'm stepping. OK, see, when you are ordaining, when you are ordained by the most high. All right. When you are ordained by God, y'all, you really stepping. They, they can't undermine that. They can't under, they can't underestimate that. Understand what I'm saying, y'all. Now, sticking to it, y'all, with that basketball team, y'all, you know, the one that they thought was, you know, so unnecessary, that was weak. Yeah, we just finna run plays on them, okay? Well, guess what? The team that they have underestimated, right, the team that they didn't think had a plan, right? Oh, yeah, y'all, that very team is the same one that won, all right? Bring up, what does that mean? That means that they had a plan, so they knew that they were weaker. They knew that they were slower. They knew that they was, you know, at a disadvantage. They knew this, right? And so they came prepared, okay? Somebody drop in the comments and say, I'm prepared. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, I'm prepared. Do y'all realize what I'm saying? See, when you have that plan, when you are prepared, y'all, that is almost equivalent to having faith the size of a mustard seed. See, once you know exactly where you're going, you have a GPS system that's guaranteed to get you to the destination. And even if you don't get to that destination, y'all, you will get mighty close. Okay, you will get mighty close. We're gonna, what are you saying right now? See, they thought that you were stupid and confused, didn't know what you was gonna do. Oh, yeah, y'all, you already had it figured out. You knew exactly what you was gonna do and how you was gonna do it. Are y'all picking up what I'm putting down, family? Y'all go ahead and drop in the comments and let me know. Moving on to the next one, y'all, is gonna be number two, okay? They disregarded how knowledgeable you were. All right, let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they disregarded how knowledgeable you were, okay? Now, 
when a person disregard how knowledgeable you are it is because they think that you have less knowledge or less wisdom uh, than them right they, they automatically feel as if i am on top of them i am superior to them okay they don't know this right and so with that being said y'all i was working in the airport one day okay you know back to the airport stores y'all i was working in the airport and you know somebody asked me what is a palindrome right and so i guess you know they were shocked because i knew exactly what it is a lot of people don't know y'all but i read books daily y'all like i read a lot of books now lately i've been doing a lot of audio books podcasts but it's almost equivalent to a book it's just a different way of picking up and learning the knowledge right but anyway they asked me what was a palindrome i told them exactly what it was i gave them the example i said uh wow right the word wow so a palindrome is basically when you spell it the same way uh forwards and backwards right so just like wow w o uh w so with that being said you got w o w from the front and then w o w from the back that is a palindrome okay um i want to say it was some type of date it was january the first or february the first something like that y'all where the dates kind of overlapped and if you said it it was february the second 2020 that's what it was and so if you write that out it's zero to uh two zero two zero right somewhere around there and then if you said backwards it's the same thing zero two two zero two zero something like that y'all but anyway they disregarded how knowledgeable i was you know they thought that they was gonna ask me this long word and i wasn't gonna know oh i know the word oh yeah i know what it is and i know exactly what it means okay and so this is where you get to the point where people are starting to insult your intelligence this is where you get to the level where people are trying to call you out in front of other people just because they feel like you cannot mentally or intellectually protect yourself or defend yourself right have y'all ever found those positions where a person think that they are going to spar with you verbally or spar with you intellectually not realizing that you are actually equipped you are very equipped okay and a person who we seen in the past y'all was a person like tupac right you know one of my favorite artists y'all i get it somebody some people may say i'm biased right however y'all um one thing i will say about tupac was he was very intelligent very smart okay and a lot of people misjudged him just because of his appearance right now there was times where pop was just straight up ignorant all right I, i'll be honest y'all he was just straight up ignorant but when he was in his political standpoint spiritual standpoint intellectual standpoint y'all the man was brilliant and so with that being said you know that was caused people like uh dolores uh tucker at that particular time to challenge his intellectual ability right challenge him as a man challenge him mentally okay and so it wasn't even only her just people who was in political stances anyway all right however y'all what i'm saying is is that uh people will disregard how knowledgeable you are okay they will some people think that you are stupid all right and confused i just need y'all to understand something you have plenty sense all right somebody drop in the comments and say i got plenty sense yes sir make sure you drop in the comments family and say i got plenty sense all right now like my uh my grandmama always said y'all she say uh i was born that night but not last night one of my favorite classic quotes y'all one of my favorites all right i was born that night but not last night okay and that's the same thing with you let's go ahead and get into the next one y'all number three is gonna be this family uh they fell for the trap yes sir let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back listen family they fell for the trap all right yeah y'all they fell for the trap see you know some people feel that you know when you are being nice when you're being kind okay that it can literally be taken advantage of and you are able to you know give them parts of you that you don't even really want to right they feel as if you are giving them this and this can be anything right your time your energy they feel that you are giving them this because you have no other options but in actuality it's a part of your chess game right 
Yeah, it's a part of your chess game, y'all. Let me put y'all on game real quick. So, y'all know I love watching the Discovery Channel. Um, I love watching um, just the Animal Kingdom period, right? Now, I don't really want to be there, right? Because I, I'm afraid of a lion, you know, coming and rip my back out, right? However, y'all, I watch it on TV all the time, okay? And so, I seen where this cheetah um, would get the baby antelopes, right? They would get the baby antelopes. And the baby antelope would just be right there. They'll just hold it for hostage. And what she's really doing, what she's really doing is waiting for the mama to come along. That's what she's really doing, right? I'm going to let the baby antelope sit right here. But really, I'm holding this because I know that I'm going to have a bigger dinner, right, when the mama come along. Ooh. See, you probably watching and say, oh, the cheetah trying to be so nice to that antelope. She just, they know, the cheetah know that that's a baby. Oh, look at her. No, no, no. She said, look, I see this. I got some collateral. Okay, listen, when y'all are trying to put in a loan, mm -hmm, when that loan is uh, being put in, what they want, they want some type of collateral. Okay, uh, what I'm saying is, y'all, it was all a part of your chess game. They fell for the trap. All right, they fell for the trap. See, some people really think that you are stupid and confused. It's a song, y'all. I can't remember who the song is by, but um, her lyric says, um, you think that I'm giving you sugar, but really I'm giving you salt. Mm. She says, uh, you think I'm giving you sugar, but really I'm giving you salt. See, salt and sugar look the same. Now, if I put salt into a cup of water, and if I put uh, sugar into a cup of water, it's going to have two different tastes, but it looked the same. Right? And see, that will make it easier for anybody to fall for the truck. Somebody gonna have some sweet water and somebody else gonna have some salt water. Okay? We know what is the point? They fell for the trap. All right. Moving on to the next one, family, is gonna be this. Number four, y'all. Um, their plot was mediocre. Okay? Let me say it louder. For my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, their plot was mediocre, all right? I'm going to just tell y'all straight up and down. Their plot was mediocre, okay? And see, when a person's plot is mediocre, this means they're not stepping high enough. <laughs> they ain't stepping high enough, okay? When they're coming uh, against God's almighty, when they're coming against God's chosen, they better come correct. Somebody drop in the comments and say, come correct. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, come correct. And see, some people are stepping incorrectly when it comes to you. Some people are stepping frivolously when it comes to you. Some people are losing their mind thinking that they are about to walk up on a champion like you. This is what they're thinking, y'all. Okay? They got to get their mindset right. Rena, what are you saying right now? Their plot was mediocre, y'all. And so, um, very similar to my uh, last analogy, y'all. Um, when it comes to Pee Wee Lee, that's elementary, y'all. Okay? That is elementary. And uh, middle school, it's not high school, but it's middle school. And so, those middle school kids will rip those Pee Wee Lee people or kids alive, y'all. Okay, they will rip them with small kids alive. All right, why is that? They not on a level. Okay, they are mediocre. All right, they are mediocre. And so with that being said, y'all, they can't come with no mediocre plot. They just can't, y'all. And as we all know, the devil has a plot, but God has a what? A plan. Okay, somebody drop in the comments and say God has a plan. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say God has a plan. And so this is all I'm saying, chosen ones. This is all I'm saying, y'all. Their plot was mediocre. And guess what? Your plan was magnificent. Okay? You had a top-notch plan. And that's what they was not expecting. All right? Moving on to the next one, y'all. is going to be number five, family. And that is they thought they were getting over. Okay? Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they thought they was getting over on you, all right? And so a lot of people do this, okay, especially when they got somebody who is considered to be a dummy, especially when they got somebody who is considered to know less, especially when they got somebody who is considered to be under the radar, okay? They just feel as if they are getting over, all right? Y'all, I never forget when I seen this special ed kid beat up this uh, the guy, the neighborhood bully, right? And I'm not trying to be funny, y'all, because somebody probably got a kid who is in uh, special ed or somebody have a sibling who is in special ed. I'll be straight up honest with y'all. My cousin Timothy, 
was in special ed. I've gotten in, you know, to scuffles about him because I just don't like bullies. I just really don't. And so whether you beat me or I beat you, I'm going to stand up, you know, for what I feel that is, you know, right. And I feel like it's wrong to, you know, pick on special ed kids. But in this case, oh, yeah, y'all, in this case right here, this special ed kid, he put in some work, y'all. I'm talking about jabs, hooks, uppercuts. Oh, yeah, and he slammed them, y'all, because, you know, they're a little stronger than the average person. Oh, yeah, y'all, see, he didn't need no help, all right? Long story short, y'all, you know, he thought he was going to go over there and bully this particular special ed kid, not realizing that this, hey, this joker, he's strong. Yeah, this joker, he's strong. You better come with it, okay? You better come with it. This special ed kid put his behind on his head, all right? I'm talking about bows, elbows, fists, everything, y'all, the whole nine, all right? Because he thought that he was going to bully somebody. But what happened, y'all? He thought that he was getting over, okay? Tried to bully the wrong one. Once again, somebody drop in the comments and say, you got the wrong one, okay? Somebody drop in the comments, family, and say, you got the wrong one, all right? And so all I'm simply saying is, y'all, they thought that you were stupid, and confused you know exactly what you're doing all right and you know exactly where you're going but let's go ahead and do this recap y'all and then we'll conclude with this video so uh number one y'all is they didn't know you had a plan all right number two they disregarded how knowledgeable you were uh number three they fell for the trap the classic number four their plot was mediocre and number five they thought they were getting over okay and so with that being said family if you would like to purchase any one of my books and roll into my social influence course or book a one-on-one -on -one session with me you can do so by clicking the link inside my description i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video y'all keep a rich mentality peace What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality